In the application process, students work on something called a personal statement. And the personal statement is very much like the who are you. In fact, in the class I teach at OSU, that who are you leads to the personal statement. So I want you to think about that, that who are you and your personal statement. Your personal statement is defining you in words for a committee that knows nothing about you. You are a complete blank slate to them, except for your grades and except for your references, until that personal statement is done. Now, that personal statement is, of course, your perspective of yourself. That personal statement is the part where I talk about the creativity that has to come through. And it's the part of the application that students struggle with the most. Everything else you can work and you can get if you work hard enough and do them. But writing a good personal statement is absolutely difficult because it takes self-analysis, it takes honesty, and it takes creative writing. The thing I advise students along their pathway that they oftentimes don't listen to as carefully as they should is that there's two classes that you should take in any pre-med path that's going to help you to write that personal statement. One is a creative writing class. And when you're squeezing all those chemistry classes in there and all that science in there, it's very easy to overlook the components of writing and communication. Don't. Don't miss that. You need to have those things as part of your application. Take a creative writing class and take it early. If you wait till junior year to take it, you're not going to have a chance to develop those skills. The second class that I think every student should take that wants to go to medical school to help improve that analytical quality, because you're going to be analyzing yourself, is philosophy. Philosophy will make you look at the world and think about the world in a completely different fashion. If you've never taken a philosophy class by the time you apply to medical school, you will not write a good personal statement. I've never known anyone to do it without taking a good philosophy class. That perspective change that happens as a result of the training that you get in a philosophy class and creative writing make for an absolutely unique personal statement. Now, here's where uniqueness is critical. Imagine how many letters of application or how many personal statements that a medical school committee is reading. Stanford gets 7,000 applications a year. Imagine how many of those letters sound like the same thing over and over and over. The more you read, the more they sound alike. This is where being distinct and standing out will help you to avoid that pile that goes over here that's like everybody else. But that takes creativity. And that takes insight. It takes all the things that we've talked about. Because if you don't stand out in that personal statement, you're not going to stand out in other ways. Most people applying to medical school have great grades. Most people applying to medical school have great references, just like you do. How do you distinguish yourself? That personal statement is critical to that process.